Okay, so in the last tutorial, we touched on this idea that um, our scenes in Maya are made up of nodes, and actually, when we're moving an object around the screen, we are actually moving a, we're actually interacting with a transform node. Uh, again, I'm just going to use, uh, I just want to reiterate that point. Um, so again, uh, we've got this uh, scene here with a chapel in it. Um, the chapel shape, i.e. all the mesh data, uh, where all the vertex points are that make up our polygon, are stored in this node here, which is actually a mesh node. Okay, uh, The actual um, um, object itself and where that is in the scene and its scale and its rotation, that is done using a transform node. Okay, So, so obviously when we interacting with the entire object what we're doing is we're doing that via a transform node and we want to interact with the individual vertices we're going to do that via the mesh node okay the key thing to draw from this at this point is that there's different types of nodes in our scene okay so let's just go back to this example here um, so uh, this example here we were uh, in fact I'm just going to delete this in this example here, what we could do is we could just trace out all the nodes in our scene. Okay, So if I don't specify anything to select, it will just basically select everything in our scene. And by saying select everything in our scene, it means select every node in our scene. Okay, So this is listing all the nodes in our scene. And it's listing them by, uh, it's giving our name, okay? Well, we can actually output the different, the actual uh, type of object as well. So I'm just going to edit this print command, and what I'm going to do is say, hey, uh, I don't want you just to print out the object name. I want you to print out uh, the type of object it is as well, okay? So I'm just putting this bit of text here that's going to sit between the object name and the type of object, and we just use these plus signs here. Um, these plus signs aren't actually doing, like, literal adding as they would if they were uh, if they had numbers either side of them uh, these when they've got text either side of them are uh, me are join the text together i.e. they concatenate the text either side uh, together so it just these, these just join it just says I want to add that text and I want to add that text okay so now what I want to do is add the object name I've got a command so if ever I've got uh, any object that I want to look at I've got a command that I can use called object type uh, it's a my command, okay, and then obviously I'm just going to go obj. All right, let's run that. Uh, oh, let's have a look. Uh, yes, sorry, it's uh, I've got cmds on here, so I just need to change that. Okay, let's run that. Okay, so um, yeah, you can see it's outputting all the names, but it's also outputting. Can you see the types? The type of object it is. So we've got file nodes, and these it's going to it's going to print out nodes of things that aren't necessarily kind of visible in this workspace. So these are things like file nodes and texture nodes. These are nodes that are part of your shader network uh, uh, that that make up the uh, shader and the texturing of, of your object. So it's got all sorts of elements in here that you might not necessarily see. Um, so this is a really good way of sort of finding out what nodes are in your scene and what type of nodes they are. This is also really important because every type of node obviously has a different set of attributes that make up that node. So, for example, a file node is obviously going to have a, 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 a location for where, for the file. Uh, the translate node is going to have attributes rate related to kind of move its position, orientation, and scale on the stage. So every type of node is going to have different attributes or different properties. So this brings me back to, uh, this brings me to a, 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 a useful reference that I want to show you. Okay, so I've got a node. Uh, let's imagine I've got a node, let's say the transform node, and I want to be able to actually kind of uh, read information. For, I want to read the attributes from that node. So, for example, I might want to read where this church is uh, in our stage. Okay, so I want to read um, the attributes inside the transform node, or um, um, I might want to set those attributes. So if I want to actually read those attributes or set those attributes, um, I need to understand how those attributes are named. So I want to look up the transform node and information on the transform node so that I can work with it. Okay, so to do that, we can just go into our help and we can just go into, uh, I can find it, uh, uh, my scripting reference and in here it's called the node and attribute reference here okay so if I click on it 
what you'll find is uh, it's not quite as helpful as the script reference because it takes you to a landing page and it's not very clear from this landing page where you go to get that node reference. So I'll just show you. You want to scroll down here and go to the technical documentation, click the plus sign and then click on node. That will then take you to the, the node reference. So this lists every single type of node and the attributes and, and, and talks you through the attributes of that node. Okay. So for example, if I want to go to the transform node, I'm going to go down to T, click on the transform node and it'll tell me all about the transform node. And most importantly, if I scroll down, it's going to tell me all the different attributes these are all the different attributes inside our transform node. There's going to be lots in there you don't need, that you don't uh, understand. Don't worry about that. The key ones we want, I'm going to scroll down, da, 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 are things like scale. Uh, and obviously, yep, you've got a pivot points because uh, obviously your object pivots around a, 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 a certain object. You can also do shear as well. I don't think that's normally a transform that you would normally apply, but you can do. But here's our translate. So here's our translate information. Great. So... I want to go and get this translate information. How do I do that? Okay. Well, we know it's a transform node, uh, uh, and we know that the attribute we want to get is called translate. Okay. So this translate attribute is going to have all three values. Okay. Of our translation in there. So let's uh, let, let's let's do that. Okay. So uh, I'm going to delete all of this. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to just go. Uh, I'm just going to go my var. OK, so I'm going to take the translate, um, uh, I'm going to get the translation information and put it into this variable called my, my var. I could call it anything I want, but I'll just call it my var or, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I could just, in fact, I might just call it T for translate. I like that. OK. Um, OK, so now what I want to do is I want to use, I want to go cmds dot get uh, atta. OK, so... Uh, this function here allows me to get any attribute from a given node, okay? So we need to name the node, okay? So I'm going to open up my brackets, and I'm going to specify this as a string. So I've got to specify the name of the node, which is going to be chapel chapel 3, as in this one, okay? Uh, and then we've got to go dot, and then now what I want to do is specify the name of the attribute. So it's translate, okay? So don't put this in. This is the actual type of node. This is the name of the node type. I don't want to do that. I want to put the name of the attribute in there, okay? Uh, we put it in a string, okay? Uh, and I think that should do it. Uh, in fact, sorry, I need to print it off, don't I? Print T. Let's try that. Doo -doo. OK, and you can see there we are. We've printed it off. OK, and you can see the different translate values. And if I go back to this, this reference, there we go. Uh, you can see we can actually uh, that pulls out all the different translates, uh, obviously in X, Y, Z order into one variable. OK, uh, and obviously what I could do is I could just print out the first one. So if I just go uh, zero, hopefully, you know how to do lists in Python by this point. Um, interesting enough, it hasn't done that. Uh, oh, actually, the attribute is contained inside of a list. So it's like a tuple inside of a list, which is a bit odd. OK, so it looks like I've got to go. You can see I've, I've gone translate zero there. You see it's got rid of the list, but I need to kind of go translate zero again, which is slightly odd. But there we are. Uh, then it gives me the first value. So, yeah, uh, it is important to kind of understand what you're looking at when, with the output here. So you can see I've got these outer brackets, which denotes a list, and then this inner bracket, OK, which denotes a tuple. OK, so here I'm going first value in the list is this zero. And then the next zero says the first value in the tuple. OK, now that kind of seems a bit cumbersome. What I could do is just say, hey, just give me the translate X. OK, uh, so I can just tell it to give me translate X. OK. Do, do, do. There we go, translate X. And you can obviously, going back to uh, this reference, you can see it's just called translate X. And yet we could use the short names as well. Uh, if you're familiar with that, that's fine. And so we get all sorts of other information about uh, this attribute. OK, um, what if I want to set that? OK, well, that's really easy as well. So I can just go, um, uh, Okay, so if I want to set the attribute, I can just go, there's another command called set atta to set the attribute. So uh, this is the attribute I want to specify, but obviously I need to add an extra parameter now to say where I want it. I'm just going to go and set it to zero. Uh, I don't need to print it. Uh, let's go 
and do that. So you can see it just literally moved that object for me. Okay. Uh, obviously, yes, there's a move command uh, that you can use to do this. Um, uh, the point is you can use this to set any attribute you want. So, so obviously, most attributes inside of uh, 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 most node attributes aren't exposed in convenient functions like move, scale, and rotate, uh, like the translate attributes are. So for all those attributes that aren't exposed, so for example, for even if I just go into the translate node, you can see there's loads and loads of other attributes in the translate node other than uh, just moving and rotation, like the pivot, setting the pivot point, for example. Uh, yeah, attributes relating to the pivot point, um, for example, that aren't exposed in uh, functions, uh, easy to use functions inside of um, uh, the command library that comes with Maya. Okay, so for those attributes that aren't there, um, this is the route that you want to take using get getatter and set getatter uh, to read and uh, write to them. Okay. Um, Final thing I want to kind of cover then is um, this is how we uh, this is how we reference uh, an object in our scene. Let's imagine that I've actually got a variable that's referring to this object. So um, uh, yeah, so imagine I've got this selected. So I might just go, hey, my selected on, selection uh, equals uh, CMDS dot ls selection equals true. If that's correct, and then just go print my selection okay, let's just run that. Excellent. Okay, so uh, that, so I'm selecting the chapel here. This is the the selected object here. Okay, let's imagine I wanted to get the uh, so I'm going to create um, a variable that points to that uh, to that 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 selected object. So it's going to be the first value in this list. So at the moment, can you see that in my selection is a list? I want to get the first value in there. So if I go, hey, uh, chapel equals uh, my selection one and then I'm just going to print off chapel okay let's just try that again uh, excellent okay so where I'm going with this is imagine I've got a variable now pointing to an object how do I so here I've just used a literal string which is you know it directly naming this okay uh, but if I want something that's a bit more kind of uh, dynamic uh, or a bit more kind of powerful uh, or flexible maybe the, is the word it may be that I don't want to actually just specify this as a string I want to put a variable in there that, that actually points to the object okay so in order to do that what I can do is I can just go uh, and it's the same principle with get getatter and set getatter so it's going to delete that okay so I can just say hey I want to go, I want to put in uh, chapel three. So at the moment now, sorry, now I've got a variable called chapel that points to chapel. Okay. Uh, and I just want to go plus and then just add this dot string to the name. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to use the variable name to point to uh, the chapel. Okay. And then I'm going to use, uh, and then I'm just going to add dot whatever the name of the attribute is that I want to set. I'm just going to give it put it back to 200 so hopefully that will that will work kaboom and you can see it's just moved that to 200 there okay uh, I'm just going to do that again for you just so in case you didn't see kaboom okay so that's how we would apply a get getatter and a set getatter to an object that's referenced via a variable okay so hopefully you found that really useful and hopefully that now means that any node uh, uh, or attribute of a node that you want to manipulate using um, Maya uh, uh, and Python, you can do that now. It's just a matter of you identifying what that attribute is. Uh, and with that in mind, obviously I've pointed you, you know, I have pointed you here to, um, sorry, doo -doo -doo, uh, uh, to this reference, okay? I have pointed you to this reference here. Um, 
uh, I think this is the is this the translate node reference. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. I've got a number of screens open. Yeah, the transform reference. So I, I have pointed you to this reference here, but obviously just keep in mind that uh, these attributes are the same attributes that you see in the attribute editor. So if I open this up and I've got attribute editor here, um, um, uh, and it's Chapel three that we're looking at. You can see all those attributes are there. Okay, in fact, it's, there's probably more inside the reference, but you know all those attributes that you manipulate here are the attributes that you can see. So, uh, and there, oh, there is shear as well. Look, see, um, yeah. So, and you can manipulate the pivots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, hopefully, that kind of makes sense. So, all those attributes there are attributes that you can um, uh, manipulate that, that you will find in the reference okay it's worth going to the reference because sometimes these are called slightly different things another thing you can do uh that i tend to do is, as a quick way of looking something up as well is if i just say change this to 400 okay uh, if i look in the uh in this uh window now it said set at a chapel translate y so it's literally done a set at a so it's, it's using this python uh for maya uh, in the background, that's literally what it's doing in the background. It's running these commands in the background. You just you just don't know it. So if I just tweak an attribute in there, it very it it, it will just literally give up what that name is in here. So that's a very quick way of just working out what the name of something should be. Okay, so I hope that's helped you kind of get to grips with how to manipulate uh, read attributes and manipulate attributes inside of Maya.